what is up guys welcome back to the channel I hope you guys are having an awesome day today so check this out today we are actually getting the car prepped and ready for paint now today I'm just going to go and sand the car down this is probably gonna be my first time ever sanding a car down but uh, I want to sand it down before it goes into the paint shop because I see a lot of people take their cars into the paint shop and uh, they don't really do that good of a job at sanding so today I just want to um, just go ahead and sand it down myself I actually bought my own my own sander and I got some different sandpapers uh, 220, 120, and 320. Um, now, I called the paint shop, and the paint shop told me that 320 would be the best to go ahead and finish it off, but try and mainly use the 220 as the sandpaper to go ahead and just sand the whole car down. So that was the advice that they gave me, and that is what I'm gonna go with. So I'm just gonna start it off there. And they're going to um, just help me fix any mistakes that I do uh, mess up with. So, that is today's goal. And I actually um, went ahead and pulled the uh, bike rack off too. That was a little complicated, but we ended up getting the bike rack off. And then there are some parts of the body, like this right here, that I just want to try and get it correct. And as far as body work goes, right here on the car is where he got into the accident at from the whole left side of the car that's why we have the new front end on the car because we he got into the accident on this side and smashed everything on this side up and it kind of ended right here so I'm just going to try and do my best to do just a little body work there um, but for the most part everything else looks really good far as the roof goes yeah and then the whole front end is already new so let's just go ahead and jump right into it all right nobody better talk crap about me about doing this either Let's get started. I think I'm just gonna start right here first and let's just see what happens. This is how we're looking so far. Not too bad, I don't think. So I guess I'll just go ahead and knock off this whole panel and see how it looks when I finish. This is what I've got so far, which I do not think that I have done bad. Now, I see some spots like this. Maybe I think I am just rubbing, uh, pressing a little too hard. Uh, maybe like right there. It's, it's not down to a bare metal, but it is just a little bit more white. Not too bad, I don't think, for my first time. No, feel free to drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. And I do have a mask on. Go Bucks. I can't find. 
front. I thought it was going to be a lot more in there. I thought it was going to be a lot more inside of there. Well, actually, was a lot inside. What you got going on in here? yesterday I got the whole roof done uh, I got the passenger side of the car done I need to go down and get some more of the bottom of the skirt down at the bottom um most of the trunk out I still need to get this part of the body the, the rear bumper of the trunk and the, just the top of the trunk the rear bumper of the car and just the bottom of the trunk this is where I need to do the body work at right here on this side so I got some body filler to fill that in and just really need to go over the whole car again with the um, that is how it's looking now um, I'm probably just gonna scuff the bumper up and scuff the um, we actually have a new hood that we are putting on um like i said when we ordered this hood right here um it got lost in the mail so the people sent us out another hood so we ended up with two of these hoods so we're actually not even going to use this hood we're going to use the other hood and so yeah i need to pull the lights out and just scuff the bumper up and the fenders i didn't want to do too much i was going to let the shop uh do this because yeah i didn't want to destroy it so I was gonna just scuff it up a bit and let the shop do the rest. But I don't think I did a bad job. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. And I need to wipe the whole car off. All right, so I guess I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the back of the car now. Let me start this off and say it first. I know that I'm a fool. my method a little bit I had to use a card this time uh, but I don't think I did that bad of a job I got it all smoothed down I'm just about to try and fix um, some of the things where I feel like I messed up at and just want to try and get it just a little bit smoother I guess I know some of you guys are probably yelling at the TV right now or your phone but hey I wish she was here to help me. And I know the shop isn't really going to pay that much of attention to it. They're going to fix it, but it's just, it's not going to be correct or whatever. It probably is, probably, probably won't. I've watched so many people take their cars to them and, you know, it just, they're not going to spend that time on it. So I feel like if I spend that time on it and then they just spend that time fixing my mistake, then we should have a pretty good looking vehicle here. I don't know if that makes sense. But this crap right here gets dry super fast. This is my first time using this kind of Bondo. It gets dry so fast. Like you don't have no time. I'm just about to put up. Yeah, I don't have no time to do anything with it that hardener gets hard super fast so hard i 
and just like that the wind hardened it out and that's hard as a rock on me hmm good try though I wonder if this is dry I just trying to sand out like some of that right there and just kind of make it smooth or whatever but I don't think I've done too bad All right, so now I am going up to the 220, and I'm going to hit it one more time with the 220, and then I think I'm going to hit it one time with the with the 330 or 320. All right, well I am practically done for the day. I'm super tired, and I think this video is getting pretty long. So yeah, I'm getting just tired. I think I'm going to go ahead and pretty much. Uh, wet sand it down just to clean it and see what I'm really looking at I'm under all of this dust um, Here's my body work that I did like that piece right there um, There was a nice hole right there that I had fixed um, Managed to get the back bumper done um, On this side right here is where the accident had happened. I tried to clean it up the best I could there is that. Um, at the long, the bottom of the car, there was a scratch, a pretty deep scratch at the bottom. I kind of fixed that scratch too. That is no longer there. It's bundled out and that hole right there. So, yeah, I think I did a pretty decent job here. I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much wet sand it down to clean it and get some of the dirt off of it and pretty much call it a day uh guys feel free to comment down below and let me know what you think so yeah like i said i think i am done for today i'm super tired and i got most of this car pretty much sanded down i just need to take the lights out uh get the new hood on it because we are putting another hood on it um and get the tail lights out for the most part the car is i think ready to go in for paint um now they are going to sand it down more in the paint shop i've just seen so many cars go into different paint shops and they just haven't paid that much attention to sanding or just trying to fix like some of the body stuff so i don't know i just wanted to come and take my time and then do it that way when it does go in you know it does come back out pretty looking pretty nice so yeah that is my thoughts on that guys feel free to drop a comment down below and tell me what you think and i will catch you guys in the next video